Good evening, folks. Thanks for coming. My name is Nathan Hunter. I've lived in the city since I was about 13 years of age. Uh, I've lived a five year stint with me in Wellington. I've actually um, always lived here. Um, I, was, I built a house in Ashu about 32 years ago. I actually constructed myself and designed it myself. Um, I'm proud to be a successful retailer in our city. It's, um, in the last 15 years, I started with Shell Central. Um, before that, my background was as a quantity surveyor, uh, starting out with the Mystery Works in 1971. Um, and later, when the Housing Corporation was formed, I was part of the initial team that actually built it from nothing up to uh, the large organisation it was, and became the branch quantity surveyor here in Palmerston North, uh, covering the, uh, the central region, which included Manawatu, to Taranaki and Hawke's Bay. And in that job, we controlled costs of all of the uh, huge um, number of houses that were constructed or altered or improved, or improving the housing stock over the 14 years I was there. Um, and we estimated that my job, we saved uh, the corporation around $2 million a year on, um, on controlling costs, which is completely the opposite to what our local authorities, um, uh, we were, were accountable for what we did. Um, John Hornblow was, um, was our main leader as far as the corporation closing down and now becoming housing in New Zealand. Uh, John and his team uh, worked with us for about a year to actually close uh, our large conglomerate down to as it is now and not actually building anything anymore. Uh, but this, this council, for some reason, we start with a good idea, we don't go to the people, we say it's going to cost $5 million, pictures go on the paper, and then it turns into a $24 million contract um, or project. When this is a square, my square, uh, down uh, Pacific Avenue, which is supposed to give all these extra parks, we got none. Uh, we had, all we had was just, uh, we were disrupted for 20 months. We lost barbecue factory, uh, we had stationary had to move to survive. I went bankrupt, my neighbour went bankrupt, other neighbour on the other side had to sell a house to survive. Now, the, the council um, don't uh, appear to have people on their agenda. They just seem to have an agenda. They don't, if you go to any of them, they don't even know where any business is in the city. They don't shop there, they just go to work, go home. Um, this, there seems to be um, an understanding there that they do what they want to, that they forget that the rate payers are the people who pay their salaries by paying rates, and they are therefore, the rate payers are their employers, and that is never ever taken into account. And at the moment we say there's a recession for a year, sorry, this city's had a recession for five and a half years. Our last flooding, which was in uh, February the 10th to 13th, uh, five and a half years ago, was where I noticed as a retailer, we did our first drop. The retailers around town seem to struggle all the way through there. John I just said we've had we're the highest increase, but our low has been so low for so long that a small increase really shows in this area. Uh, most retailers around are really struggling. You see that by the number of empty shops like Broadway. That's why my way to revitalise Broadway is I'd like to see all the meters taken out um, and make it open like fielding. Now they should be tell me we have a 1.4 million dollar return from meters. But what does it cost for all those meters we've just put in? What does it cost to actually be the, uh, the hitlers of the city and upset the customers uh, to stop them from even parking there and going for a walk around our $24 million square? Um, Broadway's dying. Broadway has, seems to have an embargo with, uh, with um, farmers moving over and joining the plaza that it's, um, farmers can't be uh, redeveloped as retail space. So we've got this white elephant sitting in as a blob in the middle of it. Um, we, uh, the incentive at the moment is for pensioners to um, have parking free from 9 to 11 in the morning with a little card on the window. Well, after that was announced at a previous meeting, I went for a drive down Broadway. I could get, it was less than 50% of the parks full on a Wednesday at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. That says there's no one here. When I was a youngster coming to the city before, um, if we could park in Queen Street and go shopping in Palmerston, that was close. Nowadays, it's, um, there is just, you can park any time you want to, right, even on 4 o'clock on a Friday. Uh, we're now 
under this recession. We're building this three and a half million dollar uh, rugby museum extension to our museum. Why are we replacing our perfectly good half a million dollar building with a three and a half million dollar building when we're in a recession? Where is the uh, boundaries for what we're uh, providing the city? If we've got good facilities, why are we changing them and spending so much to change them? Uh, the Velodrome. Um, I'm concerned of where we're going there. So thank you very much, folks. It looks like I've run out of time. Um.